So, um, Resident Evil 4 Remake just got announced. Um, I, I was not expecting that. I was expecting some Resident Evil Village DLC. Um, I guess we kind of got that with the with the um, announcement of the VR2 support. Um, well, let's get let's get right into the video. The game will be released on March 24, 2023 for PS5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, as well as PC. The acoustic guitar melody that plays during the intro is, just like the remake itself, a reinterpretation of the original 2005 track. Here we have a little bit of a backstory. So we see President Graham learning about his daughter's disappearance and, uh, you know, summoning Leon and sending him on the iconic rescue mission. Um, so it's night um, and we have uh, Ashley. Um, she's visibly shaken and scared. She's fleeing from the forest and um, her design has been changed. Um, the design that we see in the remake is actually based on one of the Resident Evil 4 concept arts. Um, I mean, personally, it was no surprise considering that they've already done something like this with the with Ada's trench coat design. So, so the color scheme shown in the trailer so far it's very very different from that of the original game. Um, here we have blues, we have blacks, we have greys, sometimes we have very very saturated and vivid colors. While in the original game we had a lot of browns, we had a lot of yellows, a lot of greys, so um, it, it's a nice contrast to see. Here we get a glimpse of the very first plug infected house in the game. Okay, so from what I was able to see, Leon's jacket, it's not a one-to-one -one recreation of the one that he wore in Resident Evil 4. Um, but it's actually more similar to the one that he wore in Resident Evil 3.5. We have a sneak peek of the village during the day. Guess you, me. They do wrong spot to vacation, eh? Here we get a glimpse of Luis Sarah um, holding the Red Nine handgun, I believe, and wearing a leather Western style jacket. So we're probably looking at our first Ganado encounter here. I mean, just like in the original game, uh, we have a very disheveled villager um, standing stoically over what I believe is a fireplace. Um, you know, just waiting for Leon to disturb his uneventful and very peaceful evening. This scene is probably taken either in a castle or a church. Um, we see a lot of Los Illuminados symbols um, hanging from the ceiling, as well as a clip of other very religious people slowly walking towards the camera. Here we have more shots of the iconic villagers from Resident Evil 4. And here we have Ada with a new design. As you may have noticed, Wang isn't wearing a iconic red dress this time. For the upcoming remake, she has opened up a wardrobe and opted for something more... practical. I did try to find something even remotely close to this design, but I couldn't, so it's anyone's guess, whether it's actually a shirt or, let's say, a dress. 
On a side note, even though I already love a new outfit, I really hope we can unlock her Resident Evil 4 dress too. I mean, it's just so out of place and so iconic. So, here we have a jacket less Leon sleeping on a boat. Whatever you do, don't shoot the water. And apparently, Peter Mendes has a head now. Mr. X had quite a following outside of Raccoon City. Here, Leon is having a dream about something taking over his body. We saw a close up of Ashley's face. We saw Gennaro swinging his axe. Um, and here we see a bunch of crows flying over either the church near the village or the big chief's house. You will receive our most. Here we have a new version of the old insignia from Resident Evil 4. We see four hands. We see two circles as well as something very familiar. Sacred body. It begins now. Here we have a first look at Lord Sadler and his big tentacles. And here we have our first unveiling of the new Resident Evil 4 logo. If I could just forget what happened that night. So, as you all could probably tell, Nika Postolaris is reprising his role as Leon S. Candy, um, who is looking out the window of a car and thinking back about the events that took place both during and after the destruction of Raccoon City. Here we also have our first clear look at Ashley Graham's new face model. This time, it can be different. Here we have Liam walking towards the village, as well as the announcement of an upcoming in-game VR2 support. Okay, so thank you very 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 much for watching, let me know if you're excited for the remake, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.